The Real Reviews, thanks for watching. I got something new. I got the Lenovo Idea Pad. This is the S340 15.6 inch touchscreen laptop. So I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and then I'm gonna have a little review video after starting it up, showing you all the power cords and all the ports and slots that are in here. If you guys haven't seen any of my other videos, please check it out. I did a review on the Dell XPS 15, uh, the 9570, I did the review on the 9560, and also if you guys wanna get a lower model, I'll show you how to change out the SSD, change out the wireless card, and change out your RAM. Very easy to do, I did a step-by-step -step video. I also have a million other videos. Guys, please check it out, please support, please give me a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. All right, let's get into the video and not waste any more time. So this, as you guys can see, this came in. I have not opened it yet. I'll give you guys the pleasure. It's the S430. It is in all black. As you can see right here, here's the serial number, which I'll cover up. But it's the Intel i3-8145U. It's the brand new one. Um, here's how the box looks like, brand new. It's got the battery logo up here, Lenovo down here with a barcode, um, and the Lenovo symbol on, so on the side and it's got the Lenovo sticker. So let's open it up and kind of go through it. I'll grab my little Rambo knife and pop this open. See if I can do it. Never use a knife and point it at yourself. I've learned that the hard way. All right, guys. Now open it up. Very thin very thin as my first impressions let's see what's inside the box so let's do the usual drop and catch game here okay so here is the charger it's got a barrel pour charger right here and on this barrel pour charger let's see it's got the logo right here on the side and it is uh 100 to a 240 amp uh, 40 volt with a 1.5 amp barrel port charger. Let's take out the computer and I'm going to go over all the specs in a second. So as usual, it comes with a little setup guide. Let's look inside and it tells you, you got to put the charger obviously into the electrical outlet. Uh, plug the barrel port in into your left side of the computer and it tells you all the ports which I'm going to go over in a second. This computer actually does come with the USB-C 3.1 port which is amazing and a lot of computers are lacking that and that's a big problem. That's inside the box guys, that's it. Let me close that up and put it to the side. So the processor and memory in this computer right here, um, it's a i3, it's an 8th gen Intel i3, so it's the 8142U, and it's a 2.1 gigahertz processor. It comes with 8 gigabytes DDR4, and that is 2400 megahertz, wow. This feels as light as my XPS 15. Very, very thin. It's got the Lenovo branding on the side. It looks like there's some fingerprints from the manufacturing. So let me try to take that off. So it's very, very thin. That's really weird with a sealed box from Lenovo. Wow. Looks very clean. Kind of a fingerprint magnet. I just held it on the side. So it's very, very clean. Oh, it came with another instructional manual. It's feeling great. It's got your serial number and process uh, it on the computer for your warranty. Okay, guys. So let me open it up for you guys. Wow, look at those bezels. It comes with a nice little keyboard protector, which I love. 
And one of my favorite things is the chiclets, the keyboard chiclets from Lenovo. Wow, great pushback. And it's got the keypad. And the numeric keypad is something a lot of these computers are missing nowadays. And that's a huge, huge flaw in, um, in these computer manufacturers. Let me kind of go over this. It's eight gigabytes DDR4, 2400 megahertz. It's upgradable to 12, uh, I believe 12 uh, gigabytes for the RAM. It's running on the Microsoft Windows 10 platform, 64 gigabit and uh, platform and it's got a 256 in this model right here it's got a 256 gigabyte ssd which is the nvme m.2 solid state drive it does not have an optical drive in this unit right here it's got integrated intel uhd graphics 620 it's got a beautiful 15.6 inch touchscreen led backlit full hd ips and that's 1920 by 1080. So this is not a 4K screen, but it is beautiful. Look at those bezels. I haven't seen such small bezels like the Dell XPS 1595, 1795, 1695, 50. It is beautiful. It's got the 802.11 AC wireless 2x2 two two Wi-Fi, and it's got Bluetooth 4.1. So I'm definitely gonna upgrade this to the Killer Wireless 1550, I believe, and it's gonna have a little bit better um wireless connection and internet connection it's got two two watt speakers and those are dolby audio premium speakers so let's look at where the speakers are they're on the sides right here here's one speaker and here's another one right here so there's two speakers they're two watts a piece it's got an integrated webcam with privacy shutter so it's got a privacy shutter which is the newest and greatest thing it's right here it's 720p and you can close it off just like that so the privacy shutter actually closes your camera on the inside which is amazing very great feature very lightweight very portable um, let's kind of go over the ports and slots it's got two USB 3.0 slots right here so they're on the right side they're the usb 3.0 it's got one usb 3.1 so this is a type c it's got one hdmi which is a must it's got one media card writer which is such a great feature a lot of these laptops like sorry to say apple you need a dongle or some of the other ones as well they're getting so thin you need a dongle uh, a media card reader is awesome to have very convenient and it's got a combination headphone jack right here so those are all the the ports on this computer i wish it had a little bit more i wish it didn't have this barrel port on the side for the charger instead um, it had um a USB-C charging it but you know that that will come so the barrel plug it's a three cell 36 watt lithium polymer battery they say it lasts up to eight and a half hours because the processor is not as demanding as a Dell or as one of those higher i7s or i5s so eight and a half hours is great I'm gonna test that for you and I will let you know if it's actually um, lasting that long let's start it up guys um additional it's 14 inches across it is uh, 9.65 uh, inches in width and it is only 0.7 inches weighing up to 3.96 pounds let's see if there's any juice in here let's start this puppy up Well, I don't think there's any juice in there, but let me plug it in. So I just plugged it in. I just turned it on two seconds ago. Let's see how quickly it starts up. It's the first time it's being turned on. So obviously it's got to load all the processors. I love the screen. It's got a little bit of a glossy finish to it so you can kind of see my hand if you can see it right there 
very interesting. It's got a nice backlit chick, uh, chiclet keypad keyboard, I would say, with a great numeric pad. I think those numeric pads are very great. Obviously, Cortana starts up in the beginning. I can mute it. And uh, that's a great looking screen as well. Very nice, very sharp colors from the start. Let's see if the brightness can be adjusted. It's on full brightness. That's obviously very dim. There is a light behind us. So that's the highest brightness it goes on. We're gonna kind of find its way here. Let's check the keypad or the touchpad really quick and see how very responsive I would say it's not as nice as the Dell XPS but it's very responsive very nice and clicky very great feel to it and um, I'm gonna do a quick review I'm gonna start it up it started up pretty fast and from there I'm gonna use it for a week or two and give you guys a full review I'll tell you if you should buy it if you shouldn't if you guys are just checking out this video if you guys want to buy it that's definitely awesome as well please subscribe guys I try to do this for you try to buy things so you guys can decide if you guys want to purchase it all right if you guys have any other items you like me to review or interested in please comment below I'll be happy to answer your questions about this computer. Um, also, I paid this computer was $499.99. It's a great budget computer that you can do your daily tasks with it. Like I said, it's got an i3, but it's the 8th gen. So with an i3, you definitely want 8 to 12 gigabytes in RAM. And that's all across the board. And this thing can perform all your daily tasks your YouTube videos. Um, I wouldn't try doing any kind of graphic design or uh, CAD work on it, which I would recommend an i7 for or higher or the i9, but an i3 and an i5 is complementary in a way where you can get all your little Outlook, your Microsoft Word school um, work if you're just doing on internet, going here and there, doing emails. This is a great laptop to bring with you if you travel you don't care if it gets stolen stuff like that all right guys i'll give you guys a update in about a week or two after using it and i'll let you know if i like it or not please subscribe guys and have a wonderful day take care